Well, I don't think this is the heap that Sinatra was singing about. <laughs> because in New York over the weekend, hundreds of migrants violently tried to bust into the once luxurious Roosevelt Hotel. Now, the NYPD had to be called as the poor people who were working hotel security could not handle what amounted to be a not-so-small migrant riot. As of this morning, hundreds were still camped outside. Throughout the weekend, dozens of migrants were told there was no space inside, and many waited in a line that wrapped around a city block. Others slept outside. Since last spring, more than 93,000 migrants or asylum seekers have arrived here to New York City. Some have been bused to other locations, but there are still more than 56,000 in the city's care. Now, this is what Democrats have always wanted, though, isn't it? An open border that would help usher in a new America. And this is what we're getting. Millions upon millions of illegals who fanned out across America with their free cell phones and dubious intentions. They want benefits, and they're hurting those already struggling, people struggling the most, like minorities in Chicago. The community continues to, continues to feel inundated with trash, loitering, drugs, parking, noise, and most recently, these aggressive violent acts. They drink. They deal drugs, yeah. there's prostitution, yeah. there's some, there are, the seniors are afraid. They disrespect us, yeah. they rob us, yeah. they harass us. Yeah. They got one more time to deal with it, because otherwise, next time they deal with it, they're going to deal with it from the streets. I haven't been safe. I was actually walking him to school, the migrants or whatever was saying something to him. He should be able to walk freely to and from school. Of course, if Democrat policies aren't littering urban America with illegal aliens, they're destroying it through their permissive policies toward crime. Just look at the once grand San Francisco, where city leaders there seem more concerned about removing Elon's ex from Twitter's former headquarters than actually locking up violent offenders. It's a sanctuary city, not just for illegals, but for deranged politicians as well, it turns out. City residents were incensed to learn that D.A. Brooke Jenkins decided not to charge two defendants behind the violent carjacking and crash you see here, even with the perpetrator caught on video. Well, Jenkins says more investigation is required to properly charge this case. What a place. One where job creators are hassled, but thugs doing drugs are coddled. Now, just miles away in Oakland, the violence has gotten so bad that the local chapter of the NAACP is demanding that city leaders declare crime a state of emergency. But surely, come on, things in our nation's capital has got to be better, right? Wrong. Now, this is a city where Republicans, remember, are an endangered species, and here's where things stand. Compared with this time last year, homicide rates in D.C. are currently up 17 percent, carjackings up 117 percent, and violent crime overall is up 38 percent. In fact, the situation has gotten so dire in Washington, D.C., that the Mexican consulate there, yes, Mexican consulate, has issued a warning to their citizens. Attention, Mexican community. The city of Washington, D.C. is experiencing a significant increase in crime in areas previously considered safe. Take precautions. Now, liberals always hated the idea, didn't they, of American greatness and America as number one. And we're getting a clear idea of what it all looks like. Because this is what it is, third world America. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.